My name is Kevin Hogan. I'm content director for Tech and Learning Magazine, techlearning.com, and Tech and Learning Live events that we ha uh, hold around the country uh, five times a year. Uh, with me today is Ian Bryan, Vice President of Marketing for XOU. Uh, Ian, you and I go back a, a long way. Uh, I've seen a lot of different uh, technology changes going on. Tell me a little bit about what we're going to be uh, talking about today. Well, today we're talking about the BYOD Listening Project. As you know, we launched ORMI at, uh, at the BET conference Correct. a few weeks ago in London. Yes. And uh, right before we launched ORMI, we opened up what we called a listening day. Okay. It's turned into a listening week and then now a listening month, and we're probably going to be carrying this out all the way to June. Okay. Um, essentially, the idea is, as you know, ORMI is a BYOD teaching platform. Yes. That focuses on the moment of instruction and tries to make teaching easier, simpler, more efficient uh, with what the teacher already has in okay. their classroom. Uh, but in order to do that, we have to really study the moment of teaching. And as you know, software companies don't really get to install engineers in the back end of classrooms. And that's a good thing. We, right. we don't want them to. Right. <laughs> but we do really have to shift, uh, I think, across ed tech, our approach to building educational technologies from functions and features that, to be fair, educators are asking for, Yes. to functions and features, but with the perspective carefully applied to the actual moment of instruction to make sure that we're making good ease of use. Tell me a little bit about the responses you're getting in terms of a, a level of discomfort with the whole idea of BYOD. With educators, it's not about skills like it was. You know, when we first saw uh, interactive displays in our classrooms, a lot of educators were very uncomfortable because they had to pick up the skill. Yes. You know, now with BYOD, educators don't feel so much that they're lacking the skills to know how to manage and engage the devices and the software. It's more about the context mm -hmm. of the, you know, the, 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 they're used to teaching in a particular way, very typically with technology, with interactive displays. And the shift where the kids are constantly looking at a device is difficult for them. And so, it's, I, I, yes, we see a lot of discomfort. We get a lot of feedback from that area, but the discomfort is more a contextual discomfort in how to change instruction, not how to acquire the skill to pull off instruction. What, uh, for say our readers or for someone who's going to the Listening Project, what, what would you say would be the, um, the, the first, the most important thing to understand about implementing a BYOD strategy? I can say that we'll have a much better answer in a few months, but what's starting to come up so far comes back to what we visited earlier, which is the communities that embrace BYOD with a starting point of learning outcomes strategy. And they address culture, they address equity, they address all the pieces and then they choose the technology that fits all the puzzle. Those are the BYOD implementations that we're getting the most positive feedback from. Okay. The most struggle we hear from the implementations that follow the purchase of a large number of devices with maybe one or two solutions, but once they actually attempt to apply those solutions, they find that there's great shortcoming. Let me ask you for our readers, what would be the next steps for uh, them getting involved in a listening project? Well, if they have a successful model to share, they need to go to letssolvebyod.com, take a couple of minutes to just shoot us a link, a summary, and an email address so we can ask questions. Okay. It's a good use of time, it's going to go somewhere, and it's going to go to teachers that are just getting started. Great. But if you just want to tap in and be quick about it, hashtag BYODEDU all connected, B-Y-O-D-E-D-U. That's fantastic. We'll definitely check it out. Thanks again. Thank you.